Inside the factory where Tesla cars are manufactured, you will find both employees and robots. The Cybertruck factory cost Elon Musk $7 billion. Production began in Gigafactory, Texas in Austin. You are now watching the assembly of the Cybertruck windshield, the largest piece of glass in the entire automotive industry. This glass goes from the nose of the car basically all the way above driver. It's shatterproof, bulletproof, and they are sealing out all the noise. Once the Cybertruck's production is ramped, Tesla expects to employ a whopping 60,000 people in Gigafactory, Texas. Similar to Tesla's other factories, the average Tesla salary ranges from approximately $49,000 per year for customer service manager to $173,000 per year for director of engineering. More than 1 million people had reserved Cybertruck. Tesla shares crash test video of Cybertruck. You can see for yourself that Cybertruck does not seem likely to roll over in a single car accident. We can also say that the passenger cell survives a 35 miles per hour front impact. Though the severe movement of the rear axle in that test is concerning, we also can't speak to how much force the dummies experienced. That tracks for a vehicle with a floor-mounted battery that keeps all of its weight down low. Serial production had begun by November 2023. The rival R1T is priced from $73,000, while the F-150 Lightning starts from about $50,000. Pricing for the Cybertruck starts at $60,990. The Cybertruck is made of ultra-hard cold-rolled stainless steel. The production process of Tesla cars starts here. This Gigapress weighs over 400 tons. The sheet metal rolls are laser cut for the manufacturing of body panels. Tesla vehicles are built with a combination of aluminium for lightweighting and high-strength steel in safety-critical areas of the frame and body. The process begins with pressing the body panels inside a pressing machine of different tonnage. KUKA robots are used through the entire manufacturing process as it is part of the fully automated philosophy by Tesla. Here the quality of stamped car body parts is checked by human workers. Robotic arms are used to combine the panels on the fixture to form the body in white. The Cybertruck is Tesla's first high-voltage vehicle. It is offering the benefit of faster charging, but also potential pitfalls. This car is the only Tesla product dependent on in-house battery cells. Tesla uses a stamping process to produce the body panels out of cut sheet metal, and the process consists of blanking, piercing, bending, and deep drawing. Fanuc automated robots carry the body panels around in a programmed trajectory. They are the large red and orange robots you can see inside the Tesla factories. These panels are spot welded by the robots to form the body in white. A medium-sized factory robot, it will work with an accuracy of 0.2 millimeters. The robotic arm carries the fixture with body and white to the next station over a conveyor belt. The welded body and white is dipped in a phosphate tank to increase the surface affinity for paint. 4,680 battery cells will be used in the Cybertruck. Tesla uses cylindrical cells whose electrodes are rolled in sheets inside a housing. Electrodes are coated with graphite and insulation layers. Meanwhile, the car body is passing through an enclosed automated painting process where different coats are applied. All the work here is done by robotic arms. No human needed, only the control worker of the car factory. The new Tesla Cybertruck have a dual motor, or you could have the Cyberbeast version with three motors and 845 horsepower. Tesla Model Y has two vector-controlled motors distributing torque to the front and the rear. One Tesla assembly line produces about 2,000 cars a week. The painted body in white is now moved to an illuminated inspection area for checking paint defects from painting room.
Now we will move to the main assembly hall. Watch how the seats are assembled. These orange robots work with the precision of a surgeon. Tesla is the fastest automaker on the planet. This factory is bigger than the Pentagon in terms of area, covering more than 10 million square feet of floor space. The giant robots that are lifting the car, that's catalog item. These robots have to be programmed the motions. General assembly is place where installation, corrosion protection, airbags and road noise are installed. Wiring systems are difficult for robots to manage. The wires have to be done by factory workers for its complexity. The speed of the car coming out the other side is like one mile an hour, but Elon Musk wants to speed it up even more. Different sub-assemblies have dedicated lines which then move on for marriage to the body in white. What you see right now is called marriage. So the marriage is when the chassis, transmission, and engine are put into the body on the production line. Wiring harness, seats, mounting brackets, and instrument panel are mounted in the car body on a semi-automated line. The new Tesla car is almost done. Now its performance and basic driving features need to be tested. Water resistance is now tested in a special room where heavy rain is simulated. The whole process resembles a visit to a car wash. Before driving on the test track, the basic controls of the car are still checked. Tesla has an actual test track near its factory in California. Tesla uses it to test out vehicles before they're delivered to customers. The coefficient of drag, acceleration, braking effects, maximum speed, reaction between the driver and the vehicle are tested here. Electric cars use a single speed transmission where the electric motor is directly connected to the drive wheels via a drive shaft. This makes the power from the engine can be directly channeled to the wheels resulting in a very spontaneous acceleration. Tesla currently has six massive gigafactories located in Fremont, California, Sparks, Nevada, Berlin, Germany, Shanghai, China, Austin, Texas, and Buffalo, New York. Texas Tesla Factory is the second largest building by volume in the world. This is Gigafactory New York located in Buffalo. Tesla is building superchargers for its electric vehicles right here. One thousand five hundred employees work here. Automated spot welding robots join the panels by performing spot welds at designed locations. This gigafactory has received a delivery of sixty six assembly line robots to help with the production of the Cybertruck 66 robots are not enough for a complete model production line. There is in total around 900 robots in Tesla factory. The Giga Nevada factory is under construction. This additional factory will be for a battery cell testing lab, cathode and drive unit manufacturing facilities, a dye shop. The Tesla Tilburg assembly plant handled final assembly of Tesla Model SX electric vehicles for delivery within Europe. The first 200,000 square feet Tesla facility started final assembly of Tesla Model S cars on the 22nd of August, 2013. It was Tesla's first factory outside California.